Since 125 years, Magna is building vehicles here in Graz. Today, we're going to have a closer look about how digitalization is changing the production line. We talk to the experts and they explain us what has changed over the last years. Already at the point of delivery, digital solution is used, which has proven to be particularly efficient. Here the trucks come from the suppliers. The truck driver can go into the office and um, register themselves uh, with the shipping papers at these terminals and they do it uh, themselves in their mother language. They go through a workflow here on these terminals and they can here do it very quick. Yeah? and uh, without any support of uh, our people here. With the implementation of these terminals, um, we could really improve our processes, our registration processes here. On the one hand, for our staff here, for our team, but also for the truck drivers and these um, transportation companies. Yeah? So it's an advantage, a win-win yeah, for both sides. And we are very proud of this uh, innovation we implemented three years ago. The transfer of goods from the truck into the warehouse is also recorded completely electronically in order to eliminate sources of errors and guarantee that the process runs as smoothly as possible. The trucks are pulled in here by the dock personnel according a sequence here. Yeah? And now the truck is opened by the truck driver and our personnel begins and starts to unload uh, these trucks. This receiving process we improved um, in the direction that we are dealing now with the original label from the supplier. Yeah? We do not uh, relabel uh, each package that comes in here. And so we go with the original supplier label up to the line of the point of use. We have on the one side just in time, just in sequence material that comes in that is really in the sequence, we are building up our cars here. On the other hand, we have also material that comes in here that uh, went to the stock and is, is stored here in small lots until the usage is done on the line. Digital supply chain optimization is the magic word when it comes to the sensible organization of shipments in storage. But what stands behind it? Now we are in one of our storage areas, in one of our production halls. And we see here material stored before this material is supplied to the line and also brought into sequence before the supply to the line. And with the digital supply chain optimization, short DISCO, we set up a big data project um, a few years ago to find the optimized condition uh, regarding inventory and transport frequency. We collect a lot of data and they are processed in, in this DISCO tool. There we find for each part the optimized uh, condition for the delivery frequency and the inventory. Yeah? Because on both sides we have uh, efforts. Yeah? On the one hand uh, the storage, the stock that costs money. On the other side we have the transportation uh, costs uh, and we will bring it in the optimized uh, size. Yeah? We see that we have lower transport frequencies and um, in that case uh, the CO2 emissions go down and this is a very positive impact on our sustainability goals. A real highlight in the production process is the quality assurance during the ongoing operations. In the past, in addition to the vehicles that were selectively drawn from the production line to be checked for devation, the so-called transport devices also had to be checked separately. Today it is no longer necessary to separately measure these devices, which enables Magna to produce different models on one production line. Instead, the car bodies are now measured automatically during the ongoing operations on the assembly line. Thanks to a specially developed algorithm, the collected vehicle data can be used to draw conclusions about faulty transport devices, so that these can then be drawn in a targeted manner. Overall, this reduced the response time significantly and improved the quality in production as well. Now we talk about something completely different. This is the fun part of the day because today we will drive on the so-called shuttle, which is the test track of Magna. We will go up there with that Pinskauer. The Schöckel is located at the outskirts of Graz. With a height of 1,445 meters, this peak in the Graz mountains is more than just a popular destination for hikers and cyclists. Because the steep stony paths, which are far away from the concrete supply road, are the test route for off-roaders of Magna's customers. This includes vehicles like the Mercedes G-Class or the Ineos Grenadier. 
How rocky and rough these routes really are becomes more than clear during our trip in the 3-axle Pinskauer. The military vehicle from the 1970s is completely in its element and literally climbs up the mountain unfaced. We, on the other hand, are shaken up a lot and having trouble staying in our seats during the drive. Great fun, but only if you like bruises and loud engines. But overall, an impressive demonstration of what is possible. That was it from Graz and the Magna production line. And it was quite interesting to see how digitalization is changing processes and how much advantage you can take out of it if you deal with the data the right way. But my personal highlight for sure was driving up the Schöckel with a pin scour. This is something you only do once in a lifetime.